As I pursued a supply chain career, I was increasingly motivated to use that expertise to address one problem, and this is post-harvest losses. As a child in Ghana, you hear about post-harvest losses, you don't really understand the magnitude of the problem. And it blew my mind more and more with every passing year that I was working with global supply chain companies. My innovation is a cold chain logistics one-stop shop, whereby we offer cold chain services for food and pharmaceutical customers. Our solution works by doing four things. If something is cold, we can store it for customers on a pay-as-you-use basis. We can transport it for customers on a pay-as-you-use basis. We can also wholesale. We can buy perishable food produce and then we distribute to our retail customers across Ghana. And then fourthly, we build it. We have an engineering team focused only on cold chain. It occurred to me that cold chain could be the way that I could use my supply chain background to really leave my footsteps in the sands of time. Greenslink was actually something that I had to research on because in the past we had a situation whereby we didn't have a cold chain services. I went on the internet, a couple of clients and a couple of contacts, you know, visited all these. Then we ended up, you know, in Friesling. They were so accommodating. They were able to meet exactly what we wanted as a service from them. So that's how the relationship with Friesling started. To be honest with you, Friesling has been brilliant with the service they provide is just world renowned. We are looking at long-term relationships with Friesling, with our productions. Hopefully they can keep up. When we talk about cold chain penetration, in other parts of the world, we have 90, up to 97% cold chain penetration. And then you come down to Africa and it's only 3%. There's a reason why. Most of it also has to do with awareness. So trying to raise that awareness and creating that outreach to be able to provide these services to our clients has been quite a challenge. And we are very happy to have uh, the we 4 f on board to support us on that. Currently, based on the we 4 f support, we are working on the first ever uh, coaching summit in Ghana and probably in West Africa uh, and this is to create awareness and to educate people on the benefits on, of coaching and why you should have an end-to-end -end coaching service in terms of supporting us on, on coaching. We have this vision and the vision is I call it the horticulture highway. You want to be able to take fruit and vegetables from Ghana from Ghanaian farms at the right temperature, the right humidity and the right conditions to reduce post harvest losses, uh, save the environment, also to increase the, the profits for our farmers. By installing these small modular on-farm cold storage around Ghana on farms, taking them to the port and then enabling them to, to ship uh, externally, but also to serve uh, local retail.